What is up guys, welcome back to Dan Reviews, and today we're going to be doing our next review in the line of Walking Dead trade paperback reviews, and this one is for Volume 16, A Larger World. So you have the cover here, uh, spoiler warning, uh, before we get into this, if you're not kind of up to the Walking Dead comic book series, up to uh, trade 16 now, out of 23, so we're kind of, we're getting closer and closer to getting caught up to the Walking Dead comics, uh, overall, I have all the reviews, uh, at least the first 15 in the in a playlist uh, reviews, and also now I'll be adding this one to the playlist as well. So here's the cover. You have Rick, and uh, it looks like he's kind of looking out. Uh, is it that? I I'm pretty sure that's Alexandria. So uh, yeah, still pretty cool. It looks like Alexandria to me. I I don't know if that no, that's not. It's not a hilltop, even though they do show up in this tray. That's kind of what this one's about, but no, that's not quite, no. So, um, to give this one a quick description, this is, uh, there's a new character who comes up, uh, you know, um, he kind of seems like a bad guy at first, then they learn that he's part of a really established community. But that's what I'll give this uh, uh, a description, so to speak. If I had to make a description, if I was the, like one of those people that makes a description like online or something for something, uh, without spoiling it, that's what I would, uh, that's, yeah, that's what I would say. So, here's the, uh, kind of, I like the colors, like a beige type, uh, deal, orange beige type deal, so, it's pretty cool. So, after our uh, last trade with, uh, kind of the, uh, cleanup of No Way Out, uh, you have, uh, you know, there's a lot of new elements in this one. Uh, the first kind of thing for me, though, that really stands out from this trade uh, at the beginning is probably when we see uh, Carl, and he seems to be fine now. You know, Rick was he was kind of worried because uh, last uh, trade he was starting to have amnesia and everything, uh, but um, he still kind of is. He had a bad dream, basically, and he's telling Rick that uh, you know. There was a boy that attacked him and killed him, and, uh, you know, he woke up to that, basically. And Rick kind of feels sorry for him and all that, you know, so it, it's a very, it's a very crazy scene that, and I still can't believe they skipped over this stuff in the TV show, so, hmm, yeah, but we also get the introduction of uh, Jesus in the comic book series. If you guys that watch the TV series, you guys know who this guy is now. He's been around for... Close to about a season now, actually, because he showed up around episode 10, 11 of season 6. And we're like, that was like a, like a little over halfway through season 6. So, yeah, we're like halfway through season, uh, halfway through season 7 now. So, yeah, about a season. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, um, Jesus, you know, he kind of, he shows up and Rick and Abraham and Michonne try to kind of, kind of capture him. But he has some high kicks and he has Michonne's sword and he goes and he kicks Abraham in the face. And uh, it's a very crazy scene. They do end up tying him up, though. But it does take a lot of work. You know, see Rick and uh, Jesus fighting. You know, so. Uh, it's a pretty insane scene. And you kind of, you don't know who this guy is at first. And everybody's kind of freaking out. And they're kind of wondering who this is. You can see he's tied up in a room chair. Uh, th this kind of reminds me of what Rick and Daryl did to him when they brought him back to Alexandria, remember? Uh, they locked him up in a room. So, that's almost what that looks like. Uh, and then they decide to give it a shot because this guy does seem like he, he you know, he is, uh, you know, pretty nice. Um, and uh, there is some gas station they stop at here uh, on their way there. We kind of saw this in uh, episode 10 as well with Daryl and Rick. They stopped kind of at a similar gas station. So, this is like the equivalent of like season... Season uh, 6, obviously, second half, but I would say, like, episode 10 and 11 was this kind of stuff here. And then they go to the hilltop. He says, you know, we're here. That's the hilltop. You guys can kind of see the hilltop there from a distance, uh, you know. And uh, they kind of, they, they start fighting through walkers. You can kind of see more and more of the community as they go. You can see the walls there. That's pretty cool. Uh, I, I do like it. It's a very cool community. Uh, you have those two guys with spears that are kind of, they're kind of looking out, uh, you know, on uh, guard duty, so to speak. And they go, and, and I have to say, the landscape from the comic book series of the hilltop, it's pretty amazing. 
you know, we have, like, there's Barrington House right up there. You have, uh, you know, some some uh, little mini homes, trailers, so to speak. Uh, you know, you have, uh, you know, um, some some chickens, pigs, you know, whatever, uh, animals, you know, growing, uh, meat. Um, they meet Gregory, uh, which is pretty cool. So, so this is, this is pretty cool here. Uh, there's, there's Gregory right here, if you can see that. So, he looks just like, uh, you know, the TV show, it looks just like the comic, I would say. I think they did a great job, uh, with that. And, uh, you know, Gregory, this is a pretty big scene from the TV show that also happened in the comic, where, uh, Ethan is forced to go back to the hilltop and stab Gregory. So he stabs him, and then uh, Rick and uh, him get in a fight. Rick tackles him, uh, you know, and then Rick has to cut him in the neck. And blood goes all over Rick's face. You can kind of see it there, you know. Um, and it has, like, that famous line from the uh, TV show from the comics beforehand where he looks at everybody and he says, What? <laughs> so that's awesome. Look at that. Just, just doesn't care. He's like, what? Like, like, what's going on? You're like, what's the problem, guys? So, that's that's pretty awesome. Um, and he, uh, he's like, drop, drop the gun right now. And Rick kind of says, I don't think I will. So this is all from the the, the you know uh, comic book, uh, translated to the T show. And uh, you know Jesus kind of he's in between Rick and the, the the one of the guards from the hilltop. And you remember, and he says. Everyone, just calm down. Put your weapons away. Uh, you know, and uh, he says, you know, let's not pretend he was anything else but a guy who attacked us. You know, he did this. He's just—he was just a coward who attacked us. You know, that type of deal. Um, and okay, so then they actually stay there uh, overnight. In the uh, in the TV show, I don't think they did. It was, they were just there for about a day or so. Uh, but. They start talking about, uh, we heard a name, Negan, right? You know, we, we who's Negan? You know, that type of deal. And they're kind of sitting there, and Jesus is telling them all about Negan, which is what happened in the TV show. Because this is the deal. I don't want you, uh, or uh, I don't want to scare the boy. You won't. And, uh, you know, yeah, Jesus says, okay then. The, the simplest way to put it is the hilltop has enemies. And, of course, the hilltop doesn't, like, it doesn't have, they don't have any guns. So, uh, I think we gathered uh, that much on our own. That's what Glenn said. Uh, and he just, he explains Negan, and he, he tells them about what he can do. And they immediately think that they can deal with it. You know, remember Rick saying uh, confrontation is never something we've had trouble with. But, in actuality, it's, it's a very crazy deal. Uh, and they make a deal with Gregory as he's in the bed. However, in the TV show, it was Maggie that was talking to him while Gregory was kind of laying in the bed um, hurt. But in the comic, it was Rick. So I find that interesting. Rick, um, I, t I get the sense in the comics Rick hates Gregory a lot more in the comics than he does in the TV show. But I feel like that'll change uh, over time. And... Rick just, he, he gives a speech, I think, that's really crazy. I like that shot there. That's pretty cool. Um, but he, he just talks about how we can win. We will win. We just have to get through this one last group. We can do this. We've, we've you know, we've handled people like Negan before, right? And he's, you know, he finally says at the end, he so, says, this changes everything. We can't see that. We can finally stop surviving and start living. And that's the end. So... You know, it's 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 a good deal. It's a very big game changer because there's this new community hilltop. They're gonna work with uh, Alexandria. Alexandria's gonna go against the Saviors. They don't know how many people the Saviors have. They're assuming it's probably a couple dozen because that's what Jesus told them that they already saw. That's that's what they saw. That's you know that's the only thing uh, that they saw. We've seen groups as big as thirty, he says, or twenty or something. Uh, so to Rick, that doesn't seem too bad. But, you know, I mean, it might seem kind of a little risky, but Rick can, he probably still thinks we're slightly going to win. You know, it might be, it might be hard. We might lose, uh, maybe, maybe someone, but th I get the sense he wasn't even thinking that. I think Rick was just thinking, you know, we'll get through it. You know, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, but it's, there's going to be a price and uh, that's what next trade is all about. And next trade is one of the most graphic trades. And I won't spoil it, but check out my next review. 
It's pretty insane. Let me just say it's the equivalent of the premiere of The Walking Dead Season 7. And uh, I'll do that review probably in about a couple days to a week. Uh, and uh, yeah, guys, it's it's next trade is very, very brutal. I have to say it's even more brutal on the TV show, though. Uh, and uh, yeah, guys, so we're getting closer to being caught up at least to where we are in the TV show, uh, which that's cool. Because uh, we're currently in volume 19, March to War, roughly. Uh, either that or like the very end of volume 18. I I'd say more so the end of volume 18 right now. The mid-season finale would be probably like the beginning type of material from, you know, uh, volume 19. And we're, this is volume 16, so we're getting closer. So, um, yeah. If you liked the video, please sum it up below. And, uh, yeah, guys, I have two more videos coming before tonight's episode. The mid-season finale of The Walking Dead Season 7. I'll see you guys uh, very soon. Peace.